Hi, my name is Anna Wormka and I am an undergraduate student at the University of Minnesota in the Department of Bioproducts and Biosystems Engineering. My poster presentation covers a mass balance approach to estimate methane and ammonia emissions from livestock barns. With increased pressure to, to demonstrate and document environmental sustainability, livestock producers must respond with measurements to demonstrate ammonia and greenhouse gas emissions moving forward. Within livestock systems, stored manure emissions play a critical role in total methane and ammonia emissions of the system. Current emission models like the EPA state inventory and projection tool do not account for all different production and management systems. The goal of this project is to track flows of nitrogen, volatile solids, and ash into and out of several commercial livestock barns and use these flows to estimate methane and ammonia emissions. This poster compares values based on the EPA state inventory tool with those found in literature. Three systems were compared, a 500 head feedlot steer system, a 1200 head grower finisher swine system, and a 15,000 head turkey system. Information on region, system, size and type, animal masses and estimated volatile solids content was inputted into the state inventory tool to obtain estimates for total volatile solid production in megagrams per year for each of the three systems as well as their corresponding methane emissions. This information is summarized in the table at the bottom of this poster, along with literature values obtained through previous studies estimating volatile solid production for similar system types. For each of the three systems, the state inventory values fall within the ranges calculated with experimental data. So this estimate tool does have some accuracy, but the estimates cannot account for the variabilities with, found within each system type. The experimental values for total volatile solids production show the large ranges possible within each system type due to differences with specific operations. And since total volatile solids relates directly to methane emissions, accurate estimates are important for determining greenhouse gas emission potential for a specific operation. Proposed improved methods for obtaining greenhouse gas emission potentials for different systems include using on-farm sampling and a mass balance approach. With these methods, total volatile solids and nitrogen can be found and used to calculate methane and ammonia emissions. Future plans for this study will include manure sampling at additional turkey barns, deep pit grower finisher swine barns, and dairy cattle systems. Then mass balances will be performed for each system and subsequent results will be compared to emission estimate tools again. This work is supported by the University of Minnesota Rapid Agricultural Response Fund, along with the co-authors, Aaron Cordes, Noel Soriano, Melissa Wilson, and Bohu. Thank you.